What's up guys, Slinky Bricks here, I'm back again, I finally uploading a video and it's been a while, but yeah, pretty much today's video, Lego Star Wars Bad Batch set ideas. So I've gone through every episode of the Bad Batch that's come out so far, I've got one idea for each episode. Yeah, this video will probably come out after the finale of Bad Batch, so also watch with caution, spoilers of Bad Batch obviously, yeah, let's get into it. My first idea right here is from the very first episode, it's an AAT, one of the um, 10 ones that we see that you know, Gregor pulls around and stuff. So yeah, pretty much many figures I'm thinking, Captain Grey. Young Kanan, Dibba Balaba, and two battle droids. I think that's very reasonable. Maybe they wouldn't include Dibba Balaba, they'd probably maybe include one of the Jedi, but if they didn't include Captain Grey in this set, I don't know how I would feel about that. But besides that, it's a pretty good looking set. This is Cutler Crane's f f farm? Yeah, Cutler Crane's homestead or something? Comes with his whole family, you know, Cut, Sue, his two children, Anoush, and um, Jack. It's a pretty nice set. Maybe they would include the um, line thing that we saw in the episode. Church. Little nice little house and stuff, completely nice. So we have where um the episode where Crosshair gets to go for his squad for the first time and they confront Saw Gerrera's rebel group. I'd have that little vehicle that they had which is doesn't look like that per se, but it's kind of the same. It's like more grayed out and stuff. Of course I have Crosshair and one of his troops. You probably have the flamethrower because that'd be cool. And yes, I saw Gerrera minifigure. Maybe a rebel as well to go with it, just from the top off the set. This is Omega Speed Chase, where you know Fennec Shan's got Omega and Hunter's chasing it down with his speed off. So you'd have the speeder, you'd have Hunter speed, and you'd be able to recreate the scene. Maybe the tower would be included as well. Nice little tower build could be nice, I could see that happening. Maybe like Lego would include a play function where Omega could jump off the tower. But yeah, an Omega figure was something we really need. This is the um episode where Hunter 1v1s against the um baby Rancor, and I just couldn't resist not putting this in here. So it would obviously include a Sigerian Slaver and Hunter in the Rancor. I'd make it a smaller set. Maybe have the Rancor, like, you know. Iron Man's build buildable marble things that they're doing, the buildable statue figures, whatever, power suits, some around those lines the Rancor could be, and I think it would, they'd probably make it look better though. I think it could work out and be a really nice set. This is the droid refinement thing, where they're, the droids are even destroyed and whatnot. It's got Trace and Rafa, no idea which one's which, and also Echo, because remember the scene like, is there an Echo in here? They could finally reuse the tactical droid mold that they had made ages ago and never decided to use for some reason. You could also have a Super Battle Droid in there, because we haven't seen those in ages as well. I don't know what he's doing with these droids, they just haven't released any in ages. I want more droids for my droid army, but yeah. Captain Rex's Y-Wing, they have to do this at some point, like, it's in Season 7, it's in Bad Batch. A lot of people really, really want a Bad A lot of people really want a Captain Rex's Y-Wing. The mini figures that include if they base it on Bad Batch is Rex, Tech, and the Scavenger guy from Raxus, I think the planet's called. Pretty much just like Cal Kess, it's just a helmet on. If they do, I would rather, much rather they do a Clone Wars version though, just so we could get Jesse as well as Rex. So if they don't, this is a pretty good version though. We also really need our Captain Rex minifigure because he's like a million dollars in the aftermarket. No one ever wants to pay that. Next up, we have the um, Imperial Attack Shuttle, the new new class shuttle, I think it's called. So it's got Hunter, Crosshair, and um, his Crosshair's COVID troopers. Probably like three of them, hopefully, maybe like two, probably. Or one, if we're lucky. Yeah, like it's not gonna give us a lot of these. I really hope they make this set though. This would be a really nice set to have. It's got army building potential. It's got cross use potential. We can use this for Clone Wars as well as Imperial. So, you know, it's a set we need. Cad Bane's new shit. This is one that really looked well in like a shuffle for Razor Crest or something. Look at when I first saw the ship, I thought, oh, there's no way Lego doesn't make a set of it. But it hasn't really been prominent, has it? If it pops up more, I'm pretty sure Lego would make a set of it. But I don't know if we're gonna get one at this rate. But it's got Cad Bane. Omega and Toto. I don't know how Toto is gonna be made. This set as well is one I really want. I really want. We really need a new ATTA. And with this one, I've got Rampart, regular clone trooper, and the separate senator guy. You should go for this ATTA. I got because the last time we got an ATTA was the um, Attack of the Clones wave. If we got one now, that'd be really nice. I made um Hera's speeder for this episode, so we had something. It's got Hera, Chopper, and um, a white Phase One clone, two Phase Two clone, my bad. There's nothing really much has to say about that. This one is one I really want as well, the turbo tank. Hopefully that'd make it actually big this time, and a like little baby turbo tank. Because in like the turbo tank would be like almost quadruple the size of an ATT, and Lego just normally makes it the size of an ATT, which is really weird. Yeah, the set's got Hauser, Orn Tomplay, I think. Um Commander Rampart, and also Hampson Door, that's his name. Yeah, I think it play features you'll be able to lift up an interior part of the turbo tank and maybe put some mini figures in there in puffs or something. It's a pretty cool set to have. The Sid's Bar Retreat Hideout thing. Pretty nice place. You know, it's based on the episode where um, that guy right there, the Horn Man, and he like takes over Sid's house. Pretty good episode, but I think if we just had like Sid's house. Maybe those two patrons that go in Sid's Bar as well could be included in this set. 
I think it'd be a nice little fun, fun set to have. Like Sid's house, unless it's a bad batch, we'll go off to every mission pretty much. Just hang out. The V Wing from um the War Mantle episode. It'd have Scorch and maybe two Republic Commandos or one. It'd probably also have a pilot, but I couldn't really find any good images of those characters. We haven't had a V Wing in ages as well. It's only a Republic vehicle. There's so much possibility that Lego could do. I don't. I really have to take advantage of this and make some cool Clone Wars sets, but I don't know if they will. Right here is the um, training grounds place. It'd have Crosshair. Like in his original suit outfit that he had at the start of Bad Batch, and also two of his Dark Trooper prototype things. I think it'd be a nice, fun way to get Crosshair. It'd probably be a small set, like almost like a part of the training room floor, and maybe a tower or something for Crosshair to climb up and then shoot at these um, droid guys. The final episode, I've decided to go for uh, something a bit different. I'm thinking of a UCS Master Ability series to Poker City or like Kamino. I would want to have like a little landing pad, look like this, but like the size of this one right here. They could probably include a lat. An LAAT gunship as well, like a small built down one, like they did with the um, like they did with Boba Fett's ship in the Cloud City set. That would be nice as well. And I would hope it to have like a landing pad, a bridge that connects to an interior cloning lab area. Something laid out like this, obviously, but it would look a lot better than this. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, that concludes my video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I have more videos out for you in the future as well. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and also like the video if you did like it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think or something you might want to see in the future. Yes, Slinky Brick signing off. See ya!